Hey what's going on guys, in today's tutorial I'll show you how we can create a gradient button in Elementor. You probably struggling to create a gradient button using the default options of Elementor. And unfortunately the button element doesn't have any gradient background option. They only have the option of giving one solid color. So in this tutorial I'll show you two easiest way to make a gradient background button like this. And here all of things we do only by using Elementor. You don't necessarily have to have the pro version of it or don't need to install any additional plugins. So let's start creating these amazing buttons. The first thing we need to do to create a gradient background button is the button widget. So we drag this widget in this place. I want to change its text and I want to make its size a little bit larger. Okay. The first thing we want to do, we want to remove the default green background color for this button. So we go to the style tab and from there this is the background color option for this button. I want to make it fully transparent from here. Then if we go to the advanced tab, you can see here is the option for giving the background color for this widget. And if we open it, you can see here is also the option for gradient background. If we click on this, this is the first color for this gradient. I want to make it to this color and want to choose the second color to this color. And you probably noticed this background color covered the full width of this widget. We don't want that. So to get rid of this, I go to the positioning options and make the width to inline. Okay. We have already created our gradient button. Now if we go to the background options, you can see here is additional option for the gradient. You can also choose the radial type of background and can also change the position of the radial like top left or to bottom left. I want to make it to linear and you can see this is the option for the angle of the gradient. I want to change it to 160 degree which looks cool. But here one thing you have to remind that if you want to add some border radius for a button, you simply go to the style tab and make the border radius from here. But in this case that doesn't work. You can see I give the border radius but it doesn't work. So to make a border radius we have to go to the advanced tab. And here you can see the border option and in this border option from the border radius field you can change the border radius like this. Okay. And one last thing you probably don't notice that if I go to the content tab and try to change its alignment to center or to right it also doesn't work. This is happens because we set the width of the button to inline. So how can we solve this problem? To solve this problem, first of all, we need to wrap out this button inside an inner section. So we add an inner section in this place and place this button inside this inner section. I don't need this second column, I delete this one and also don't need this additional padding. So I go to the inner section and go to its advance and make the padding to zero and also want to make this column padding to zero from here. So if we want to make this button to align center, we go to the column settings and in the column settings layout tab, you can see here is an option for horizontal alignment. I want to make it to center. Okay, you can see this button is aligned to center. And if you want to make it to align right, you can also make it from here by choosing the end options. Okay. So this is our first way to creating a gradient background button. Now I want to show you another method which you can also use to make a gradient background button. I want to add this button in this place. So I drag the button widget right here. I want to make it center and want to change its text. In this case I don't want to remove its default background color. Instead I create the gradient background color from the box shadow for this button. So if you go to the style tab you can see this is the option for the box shadow for this button if i turn this on here is an box shadow appears for this button first of all we need to make its position from outline to inside so now i can see this box shadow appears inside this button and this is the option for the horizontal and vertical position of this shadow you can play around with this from here so you already have seen the gradient effect for this button but if you notice closely, you can see the shadow also appears from the top and bottom edges from here. I don't want that. So to remove this, I need to reduce the spread value from here. If we increase the spread value, you can notice this area has become more smaller. And if I reduce the blur, you can see it clearly. Okay. 
now I want to reduce the spread to a negative value like this okay then I adjust its horizontal positioning from here I want to make it to 110 okay then lastly change its blur value okay you can see this is basically a gradient background from left to right you can also create a gradient effect from top to bottom by adjusting the vertical positioning from here now I want to change the box shadow color I want to change this color to this yellow and also want to change this green color which is basically the background color for this button I want to make this to red color okay that also looks cool so that's how you can create these amazing looking buttons like this just using the existing options of Elementor. If this tutorial helps you a little bit and you can learn something new, you can like this video. And if you want to get updated with Elementor or WordPress related content from me, make sure to subscribe to this channel. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.